Oh, you were just giving me everything that I bought, didn't you? Actually, no. I had absolutely no ego to what you asked for. Really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. Because a battle axe, isn't that a great axe? Or is it different? Uh, might be the same thing. I just okay. probably so is I, the same thing. When I hand it to him, I say, when we're done this trip, can I have that back? <laughs> oh, sure. Where are we going? Well, the closest city is two days, right? Are we bringing them with us? Well, we can't just leave them. But we don't... Ooh, ugh, okay. Edward, you just risk your life to go back in there, and you're going to tell them they have to stay here or do go on their own? No, I'm saying we can't leave them here. They're coming with us. Ah. Also, you're really quiet for some reason. Am I? No, not you. I, um... I have a sister in Kyleth that uh, might be able to help people keep on their feet for a few days until they figure out what to do. Which way is that? It's to the northeast. Can you lead us there? Um, here, uh, let me see your map that one of you have, apparently. Do I have a map? I don't have a map, I don't think I do. Who bought a map? Nobody, because this was something that was given to the original group that I just kind of kept because I like the map idea. So he gives you a map! <laughs> <laughs> okay. He gives us a map. Okay. And he marks Kylith on it. Which... That's actually pretty close. <laughs> well, it's two days, at least by camel. Yes, but we won't well, be taking camel. It's a three day travel, actually. Yeah. Oh. Three day, two days by camel, three days by camel. Um, if you can lead us there, I will give you this axe for free. Alright. But we will point, be riding camels because not everyone has camels. At this point, I would like to step off my horse and say, since you're leading, you deserve the spot. And I, I put out my hand to, like, shake his hand, and I say, I'm Riker. Well, I'm a Sindus. Can you spell that for me? <laughs> so there's three camels. Fine is on one, me and Ozzy are on the other, and then there's an empty one, and there's... And I've got a gross guy in my second seat. And they will only last an hour, though. Yourself. Yeah, and they only last an hour. But we go ten miles on that hour. Yes. Okay. So, well, um, I go, well, I this. Um, thanks for your service. Um, half orc, also with... Okay, wow. Half he orc. looks a lot more human than orc. So he's, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um... <coughs> so, I put the spear, like, I, ra I shove it into, like, where my my quarterstaff is, my new quarterstaff, and then I, um, yeah, I gave him that. Who took daggers? Uh, I did. I took six. Well, you took five, because the one guy, one guy said about he can have an axe, so I gave him an axe, right? Right? All right, so if I took five, then that means you have ten. All right, I have ten daggers. Um, did anybody else take a dagger? No? Okay. Um, and Aussie, you didn't give me money? <laughs> no, I gave you your stuff back. Okay. <laughs> I don't need it, I just wanted it. <laughs> right, oh, so... I, yeah, I, I, I like look at you and I say, I hope you don't mind, a man's gotta make a living, and then I like look away immediately. Yes, it's not like I've given you things upon things. Um, anywho. <laughs> right, so shall we set off then? Because I think that my magical camels won't last long. I look around, does anybody else, any other, other people come towards us at all? Uh, you guys, there was your small group of, uh, six people... Um, one of them is the child, one of them is the woman, one of them is the, one of them is Ascendus. Uh, there was nobody else that has moved off in the direction that you guys have. Everybody else has moved immediately along the shoreline, uh, keeping about 500 feet mm -hmm. away from it, because there were tentacles coming out of the water. To the south, or to the north? They are going to the north. Okay, so they're following the shoreline north. Yes. Um, so I look at the, the guy that walked up, what's his name? Or I guess I don't know. 
right? Uh, Edward, your what? Your friend that you uh, you made. I point at the guy that walked up. Yeah, good sir. What's your name? Why are you so quiet? This mysterious stranger is kind of creeping me out. Agreed. If you'd like to follow us, you can. If not, well, I hope you have a good day. Yeah, You're getting your own camel. Uh, Forward, camel. I follow us, then, just. <laughs> Nothing happens. Camel. I'd also like to say that um, I offered my seat on my horse to Ascendus. Oh, thank you. He takes the horse seat. <coughs> right, so, so I'm walking. So yeah, Riker starts walking with Ascendus, I guess. Like, Alright. Let's get a bloody move on. So, do any of you use swords like weapons? Or are we all magical? Just a question. I'm not magical. What do you do? You, do you use weapons? But do you, any of you use mostly weapons to do stuff? Yes. What kind of weapons? Really like just any? Depends. So, I have this, and I pull out the rod, that can turn into any weapon, and it also does cool stuff, like steals life force. Fun. Mm. Um, and I don't really have a use for it. But it does cool things, and you can use it if you want. For instance, um, Lance! <laughs> uh, it turns into a lance in your hands. Again, as you won't quite, like, you're not really familiar with this weapon so far, so you yeah. have it off in one hand, and, like, the weight of it kind of, like, tips it over and it falls onto the ground. <laughs> See, I'm not- I pick it up. See, I'm not really used to weapons, so I think you should use it. Alright. On- I'm gonna what? What? It can turn into any melee weapon. Also a shield, I think. Shield! Um, uh, it turns into a shield. Ah! Uh, it is very finely decorated shield. It has a symbol from a noble house in uh, Shiv, actually. The Tornins. What I recognize it. Uh, yes, it, it's, it's fairly familiar for most of you. It's the Tornin family crest. Hmm. Yeah, so, you may use it. I may want it at some point, but you use it. Also, okay. if you score whatever a critical hit is, uh, I don't know what that is, but what, if you do get one, it steals ten life points from them, and you get it. Claus, you're going to become delirious. I'm going to... Uh, I'm hearing that last part, I just kind of... Just kind of, like, like, not snatch it, but quickly grab it, and, like, where I have, like, the quarter staff kind of, like, Sitting, I've just kind of, kind of turned that to him. Like, take that. I don't want it anymore. I'll take it. What the court of staff of flame? Yes. Yes. Okay. That's called a, ro a lo rod of mercurial life stealing. In case you want to write that down anywhere. I traded a flying carpet for it. I have to do twit. I have to. Okay, well, just don't mind me. So, um, does anyone care to hear a limerick while we travel? No. No. It'll lift your yes. spirits. Ah, we have one taker. Limerick? You can anyone? telepathically say yeah. it. I look over to the crowd of five people that's following us. How about you, limerick? I say no again. Uh, well, you're getting a limerick anyway. Ready? I may travel and wander in Rome, for adventure the streets I make home, but wherever I go, here's one thing I know, there's nothing and no place like home. Fine, will you please trade me camels? Ah, oh, Limerick! Please. <laughs> you want the old guy? I... Being honest, I would... Hmm. Camels. So I think we should move on. Hey, uh, this camel's pretty sweet. Why is it so squishy? I don't know. It's made out of sand for some reason. Huh. 
You made really? a camo out of sand? It was somehow. Hold on, I have an idea. The guy Get says that fine is like um so oh, it's a creepy guy with me. Yeah. Um I have an idea. He um takes a metal rod, which find for some reason you find vaguely familiar, <laughs> and sticks it in the camel. And he begins to suck through the metal rod, which now kind of reminds you a little bit of a straw. And uh, the camel begins to curve inwards. <laughs> what? That's gross. That's gross. And you can tell that he's not sucking up any sand, but you feel the magic of this wavu. And the camel just turns into oh, a pile of sand. What was that for? Man, it's, uh... Got some good stuff here. Oh. And I thought I was the druggie. Oh, God, I think that's the first time I've seen someone get high off a magic camel. I summon my guardian hand, and I grapple him. So this hand of fire erupts, and it gaps around him. He doesn't seem to assist... Whoa. Alright, nice. don't, don't do that. Let him go. No, Squeeze no, him eyes pop. He can stay here for the rest of the trip. You mean you're just going to leave him in the desert? No, in my hand, with me. Following me. Your hand only lasts a minute each time you use it. Concentration. No. Um. It's concentration up to a minute. Okay, I just- we can continue walking off in the desert, and he can catch up with that minute of time. I'm cruel. Alright, so... You leave him in the hand for a minute. And you guys continue onward, unless somebody would like to do something. Okay, so- Can I attune to the cape? While we're traveling? There were a lot of cape talk. Is it the cape of billowing? No, Gilforth's cape. Oh, Gilforth's cape. Um. So, give me a Arcana check with. Uh, just give me an Arcana check. Thirteen. Uh, you think that there was a special requirement to attune to this cape that someone more knowledgeable of the arcane might be able to tell you what that is? Right. Uh -huh, wizard behind you. Uh -huh. Hey, wizard! Yeah? I mean, Jack! Yeah? Wink. I don't think that matters at this point. I don't know how to I'll attune to this cape. Can you help? Uh, let me see this. And, uh, I'll look through it. Come on, and make an arcane roll. Yep. Can I help him with this? Uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll through. Just... Or would my 13 from previously help him? Or... Go ahead and roll again to see if you give okay. him advantage. 11. Right, so, Edward, you do have advantage. You gotta be kidding me. You have no clue. Don't you have the identify spell? I don't. You don't? Uh, can I walk well, up to them and do something? Yeah, okay. so... Wait, where'd you even get this cape anyway? I, it's mine. I take it back. <laughs> it is very <laughs> noticeably <laughs> Gilfuls. That's what you saw <laughs> him in the first time you met him. Uh, I want to walk up to them and... Oh, hello. Them? Yeah. Can I see the cape for a second? Why? Uh, I'm going to cast a spell on it. What spell? Who are you? Do you want to know how the cape works or not? I would prefer to know who you are. We already know how it works. Yes. I'm would you like to know what... Would you like me to cast Identify on it? I would like yeah. you to tell me who you are first. Identify yourself. Identify yourself! Yes! What fine sh said. My name is Caradon. Caradon what? That's it. And why are you here? I don't know. I'm you just don't here. Know. Right. You're just um, here? I'm just a traveler. What I'm race is he? Like, discern his race. Human, tan, brown hair, green eyes. 
tall, skinny, muscular, plain person. I want to keep a very close eye on him, but I will let him cast Identify on it. <laughs> I take a step back. So you cast Identify? Yeah. Alright, so you cast Identify. Uh, you realize that it needs the sacrifice of a third level spell slot to get it fully attuned. The spell slot comes back as per normal, however, because it has to be done in rest, that spell slot cannot be recovered during that rest. Uh, mm. That is the only requirement for attuning to it. Um, other than that, it functions like the Cloak of the Bat, however, it only functions in bright light instead of demo, demo darkness. Okay. Thank you, Carg- Cardamon. Cardamon. Peppers? Yeah. Close enough. Right. I'll just walk back. Oh, okay. Okay. And I'll keep watching the two I was talking about. Okay. Can I cast Wait, a third level spell into it to try to attune? Uh, yes, as you're traveling along, you can do this. Yeah, I cast... I, I can't speak with plants. <laughs> it's so... A, I guess. <laughs> okay. That's the only third level spell I have! I mean, it's more of a spell slot, but sure. Oh! Okay, th- okay. Got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. So yes, um, you are now attuned to the Cloak of the Flamingo. flamingo. Oh, no. Question. <laughs> While we're walking, um, or at least these two days, like, I, I get that you're rolling at encounter tables or whatever, but uh, in these two days, is there any way Wesker could get his retraining? Or not? Uh, because of how you're traveling, I'm going to say for each day you travel, it's going to be half a day's worth of trading. Okay, so I already got one, I'm going to get half. Okay, um, and then I'd like to also cast Find Familiar on the way. Alright, yeah, that doesn't take too long for you. Okay. During, like, the rest we will probably take, uh, can we do any of our, like, research or stuff? Uh, yes, you could be, but again, it's gonna be half a day for each kind of craft or research you want to do. Alright, so you said it was two days, so that's probably one full day's worth. Yeah. Yep. But, for this first day, I want one person, you can choose amongst yourself who does it, to roll a d20. For what? For something. I volunteer as tribute. Yep, go ahead. <laughs> really, you have to say it that way. I don't know if high number or mellow number is good. I really don't know. Well, it's just a straight d20, so... Probably higher. Alright, let me find my thing. Wait, seven days? What have I done to this? What have I done to my part, to my friend? Hopefully, you hear a mat. Wait, why did <sighs> Klaus? Yes. Is it seven days that I need? Um, one week, right? I believe so. Yeah. Is one week seven days here? Yeah. Okay. So seven days. Okay, thank you. That's all I need. Bye. <laughs> That's all I need. Bye. Alright, I would like for you guys to place yourselves. Uh, uh somewhere where? towards the center. Is this after a long rest? Uh, this is not after a long rest. Okay. Short rest? Work. Uh, yes, go ahead and count that as a short rest. Go ahead and roll hit dice or whatever you'd like to do. Yay! Wait, what's going on? Put your person on the thing. We recover hit uh, spell slots on short rest. Uh, long can, rest, but... unless you're a warlock. Yeah, it's a what long was rest. It? Okay. Yeah, I can recover things from short rest, but that's because I'm a wizard. Well, I'm not technically a wizard. I but believe I'm you close. get all of your stuff back um, doing a long rest. You don't get anything on the. Sure, if I remember. Yeah, it's just I... HP. Pretty right. sure it's just HP. That was really. Do I have full hit points now, by the way, or? Uh, or well, you will hit go. dice, and you gain how many you will. So, because you're level five right now, you can roll up to five hit dice. Gotcha. Yeah. Am I doing this too? Like putting myself on the board? Uh, yes, everybody. Darn it. 
and I can have puff on my shoulders. Uh, keep in mind that you are traveling in this general direction, so you place yourself however you think you would be. Where oh, I was very far away from it. Where's Ascendus? Uh, Ascendus is... So I uh, this man right here, he would be leading the way. Alright, so I'm walking next to him. Hello, Edward. Oh, goodbye, oh, Edward. Hello, Edward. Thing around. Why does Trying everyone else get a token? <laughs> but I only get... Wait, why is your thing that? What? I don't know! That's just what it did! Get rid of it and try it again. <laughs> hey, yo. I don't know hmm. how you did that, but okay. I don't know. <laughs> Look, it's King. Oh. Let's not use that token. Wait, what? <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Can't use that token. No. We're going we through the back. We got King. We got what's his face. Shit, you putting up all everybody back. Hey man, I only have several hundred tokens, and I don't like going too far back. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Oh, uh, this is the one I used for the kid. I had a quick question before we continue. Coilheart died, right? Yeah. yeah. Damn it. Coilheart? Uh, yeah, he's dead, so I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, that... Okay, so... I put, um, something kind of distinctive on characters that you might have remembered before. There was a character that Ossie might have noticed at the Baldic thing if he rolled high enough on his perception check. But it also had a red dot on it. Um... <coughs> If you see a character on a screen with a red dot, then assume that that was one that, um, canonically was in something before. Um, this is just kind of a, I only have so many tokens. Okay, so red dot is reoccurring, no red dot is just a guy. Yeah, so if you see, like, this guy in the future and he does not have a red dot, assume that it's a different guy. Unless I say otherwise, because... Got it. Yeah. Probably hmm. to remind us when that happens, yeah. but alright. Um, I, I, I will, like, I'll have you all, like, a perception check and stuff for that, um, if you don't do it in character stuff, like how I did for Aussie. <laughs> um, I just kind of mocked it as that for myself on that one, but this is just gonna be something that I'm gonna do going forward. Um, so, before the sexual session, it didn't really matter, but... Just because only so many things I can make. They didn't just okay. me saving six people. I was going crazy. I was like... Uh, I was like well, this God, person right here is the one that was pretending to be the woman. Uh, this guy is Aussie Indus. Um, child. <laughs> Alright. Is this guy back? Huh? Alright, so I would like for each of you, well, I want, um, yeah, each of you to owe me perception check. Mm. Okay. Hey. I don't think I won't bother. Click, click. Never so, mind. So, um, fine and Aussie. Um, Aussie, you hear strange rhythmic tunes off in the distance, and you. <laughs> God. Oh. You Can I fly over and see if I see anything? Um, as you take the cloak of the flamingo and kind of wrap it around yourself and begin to fly upwards, you look around, it seems to be coming in several <laughs> different directions now that you think about it. Holy fuck, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Klaus, we know everything. What is going on around us? What is going on in two towns over? So, Riker and Edward. You don't. feel like strange rhythmic wailing noises. Um, Ossie and Holden, and Fine and Kirishan. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me religion checks, each of you. Those of God. you that got nat twenties, both advantage. I didn't, did I? Mm. Uh, no, you. I'm gonna try it. it. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that advantage. Click. No, I'm not. 
What is going on right now? Did that purple tentacle monster give us all, like, god powers or something? <laughs> uh. Alright, so, as you think for a moment, as you hear these screams... By the way, I am the god race, JJ. I am a god. You asked what? me what my race was. I didn't ask you that. Oh, I got it. Was that whispered at me? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, Azimar? But do I tell you that? Or are you saying, like, in game? Or, like, are you saying as a player? I'm just, I was trying to not disrupt everybody to figure out what you look like. Oh, he's an Azimar that looks very human. Oh, okay. He looks more human than anything. Alright. Okay. So, um, hold it. <laughs> And Aussie, um, Aussie, you recognize the rhythmic tones, and Holden, you recognize this from your homeland. They are the wailing of wraiths. Um, you can tell that there are seven of them. Seven wraiths, everyone! I'd start doing circles with the rhythm. With the wraith. Oh, <sighs> shit. Ah. Ghosts, I think. Okay, can I make a like, combat and like prepares a spell, but like says like what's that? <laughs> can I make a history check to see if I've read about wraiths before? Uh, I'm gonna say you could do give me a religion check instead because they are undead and that's what they fall under. Okay, and yeah. since my grandfather was an adventurer, perhaps I've read about fighting against that, so I can get advantage. I'm gonna say no because they wouldn't be in any. Your stuff. It's gonna be straight up. Straight well, up. I tried. Yeah. So yeah, you don't know too much about me. However, I'll see and hold in using your knowledge of this. Um, first off, you know that they are undead. Uh, they have very deadly abilities that involve draining another figure's life. Um... They are able to go underneath the ground and stay there for a time before popping up. Uh, the humming that you hear, you can tell that they are uh, slowly rising up from the ground around you. You have a round to prepare for that. Um, they are most deadly in melee, and any sort of light spells cause major negative effects upon okay. them. Uh, this would be something like daylight. Okay. Uh, whenever a creature is killed by them, they, uh, the corpse, uh, comes back as a wraith within a minute. Yeah. So, if you said daylight, Fuck. it is daylight, right? Uh, no, it has to be a spell that causes it. Really? Okay. Yep. When I said daylight, it was the daylight spell. Yeah. Right, I tell everyone, prepare yourselves, we have about six seconds- OH GOD! <laughs> <laughs> and then, no. We have about six seconds- OH MY GOD! I feel like does that, I run immediately. Um, this way. You said a round, right? Or turn, or whatever? Yep. I just- Keep flying. So, and, like, just to kind of keep this uh, concise, everybody will initiative. This is going to be for your whole round that you have beforehand. I'd like to move back. Is Puff move with my initiative? Uh, yes. Okay. I missed my plus five initiative. Puff <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, technically has a different initiative role, but that's fine. Oh, what the heck? It didn't show up. I, really I love. You, you have to select your token. I did. That's the thing. This oh. is kind of just. This is just kind of clipped with me. Me, Ozzy, and I think one other person made this epic attempt to try to save Alton, and it's just like, no. Yeah. No. Well, it wasn't epic. I just whipped him. Yeah. <laughs> I. Uh, uh, the thing on Yule, it has a plus nine to its check. And I got a 19 on the roll itself before the plus 9. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so should we all have, like, a backup character just in case, then? Yeah. I, I think that's a good idea. Oh, I thought it was, like, a thing that Alton wanted to change his character. Well, yeah, but I didn't want to get fucking murdered. 
Oh, I see. <laughs> you didn't want to get murdered, so you chose the best way to kill off your character was to I drown didn't him. It. I didn't pick it, he picked it. <laughs> I was just gonna okay. leave and go, because I didn't want to get fucked up by a goddamn tentacle monster. But as soon as I tried to leave, tentacle monster got me. Yeah, and then drowned you, suffer giving Olten the worst fate imaginable. Well, hopefully he's still alive somewhere. He's not. Drowning is a very terrible way to go. Bro, right. Shut up, I was gonna take it. So... It's a great spell, I don't know why people don't... Dr. Rebel Initiative. Uh, <laughs> let me just add you on, actually. Did anybody else not get added on? No, I'm on. I'm on. I didn't get added on, let me reroll my initiative. No, no, just stick with him. It did have oh, you no, on. Just... So, um, let's see. And Edward, you had a twelve. And it's not been a day yet, right? It's just. Been it has day. not been a day yet. It has been one shot west. Um, it okay. is about dawn at this point, as you guys were traveling a bit through the night. Mm. Oh, what time was it attacking? Like what time? Was it was it? around like eleven o'clock midnight. Oh wow! It yeah. was high noon. <laughs> According to McCree from Overwatch, yes, it is always high noon. So. Alright. Raiko, you move up there. Would you like to do anything else? I hold over there and then I hold my action with this spell. And I, I push, I, I like, I like, tap, or like, I like, shrug my shoulder up so that Puff, like, gets up in there and, like, she knows that by now to, like, pop off my shoulder and start flying. So, like, she just, like, starts circling out of my head. Alright. And I'm just prepared. Alright, and with that... Uh, this shoulder man that... You're not exactly sure if he's a dwarf, or if he's just somebody that's a little bit more stout. Kind of hard to tell. Is going to... Step over here... And, actually, no, he's going to move over here. <coughs> and he is holding a small hammer. Ooh. Yeah. Holden. What? Oh. Um, where where are they? Uh, you f they are beneath the ground. You can tell that they are coming up. Um, with your checks, you know that they tend to... Circle around things whenever they come up. Okay, well, since I have nothing thing to actually, you know, get them out of there, but blood pull at my feet. Alright, so go ahead and draw Am a thing I? for your blood pool. You also might want to turn your thing into a weapon. I'm actually you probably would have at this point. Do you want to turn on your, um... How much damage does this And then just click... What? The button. Just then. Give me my cheat sheet over here. I was just... <laughs> no one can understand a word what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. I said... You said, cut out. You really want to do push to talk, man. It's not even the fact that it's push to talk. It's I'm on a very crap computer because my other computer freaking broke. Oh yeah. Anyways, right. anyways, Klaus, I am dropping a blood pool at my feet. Okay, draw a little box underneath yourself to show that, and then spend the proper amount of health. Move on to the next turn. Right. Move on to my next turn. I'm gonna go grab my cheat sheet and then I'm gonna take off the HP. Just give me one second. Okay. I'll see. I am going to fly over here and be like twenty feet in the air. You're currently in flamingo form. Flamingo form. Oh, can I not just be flying? Let me double check. <laughs> can elves fly? <laughs> no, when you're wearing the cloak, you get a fly speed of 40 feet, or you can turn into a flamingo. Actually, the polymorph. Now a new elf can fly. 
So yeah. Technically. And a swimming elf. What? Yeah, tons of elves. Okay, yeah, you good. Okay, good? Yep, you good. So I'm me, but I'm flying, yeah? Yeah, so you have to use both yeah. hands to use this, so you're not able to cast any spells that use somatic components. Oh. Yeah. Does that include my ring? Uh, your ring would not use that. Okay, cool. I'm fine. I fly, like, 30 feet in the air. All right. Uh, yep, yeah, I fly 30 feet in the air, and I'll just, like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Edward. Alright, I'm not sure what's happening, but all I know is I'm pretty sure Riker knows what's going on, and he ran, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Yeah, like, they said something's coming, so Riker immediately, like, runs away from whatever the group, because... <laughs> I'm dashing, I'm getting the hell away from there. Stay together! They'll kill you! Yeah, so then they kill us. Uh... <laughs> my turn. Okay. Um, this random guy takes a beer bottle and just holds it He's like a dagger. I probably would almost yelled scatter as I ran. Wow. Huh? He's got a dagger. Yes, but he's deciding to use his beer bottle. Okay. Good job. It's gonna be... I feel like me saving people might have been a bad idea now. Oh, I forgot to use Song of Rest. Dude, it's a great idea. Alright, fine. We did that. Um, I just go stand next to Aussie and I uh, ready my firebolt. You mean below Aussie? Below Aussie. Yeah, I'm 30 feet near. <laughs> yes. Alright, that. This woman. Is uh, going to looking around. The most sturdy-looking person looks to be holding, so she's going to stand by him. Uh, she looks like she is prepared to use you as a shield. Uh, this guy is going to take out the dagger. And move over by fine. And this kid is going to move up to this guy. Alright, kill it on. Uh is there anybody who doesn't have like a <clears throat> have a weapon? Uh looking around everybody seems to have I believe that daggers were distributed, um this guy's using his own short hero, though. Um, this guy's using the battle axe. This guy's using a beer bottle. You forgot to put Klaus on the turn order. Klaus. What? Klaus, you forgot to put a Sendis on the turn order. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Let me... Mm. Hey, and then, uh... I'm gonna just plant my um, my uh, spear or my glaive in the ground, uh, and then come over to um, Edward. Just because I do not think splitting up is a good idea. And then uh, I'll hold my action in case something just hops up near me to hit it with my hammer. Where's your character? Oh, I forgot my action. Can I hold an action to vicious mockery something? No, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I do want to do that. Can I do that? Can I retract? Um, I'm gonna say new. Okay. Riker, I can't really hear you. Sorry, can you hear me now? Yes. Yep. Yeah, that's what Riker literally just did. Like he, he's holding an action with his spell. Okay. I just right. fucking fucked it. What does this end this do? Uh, Ascendus, he, he is also preparing an action for anything that's close to him of the kid. Okay. So. And now, we get killed. You hear wailing coming from below as the ground shimmers a little bit. Black forms of 
An inky substance emerges from the ground. They coalesce no into regret. vaguely humanoid shapes. Uh, unless it attacks me, I ain't moving. Uh, actually, um, who had the held action that was the ranged one? I think it I had a held fireball. Spell. Okay. I had a held spell from last turn. Did fire hold spell too? Yeah, yep. I held fireball. All right, so. Raikou and Fine, go ahead and choose your targets. And roll the stuff. Well, um. Uh, fine, as the. as you shoot your fire at the. uh, like, inky creature, its form kind of wavers a little bit, and the fire moves straight through it, and then it moves back in. To reform. Okay, well, fire doesn't work very well. It's right. not so much that it's immune to it, it's that you just kind of missed. Uh, Did I get all of my um, spells slots back? Because it's been a short rest, right? That's what warlocks do. Yes, for your warlock stuff, your sorcerer doesn't get that, I believe, though. Yeah, my sorcerer doesn't, but I do. Okay. Okay. I already I actually already took all my sorcerer stuff off, even though I should have, but Oops. Um Um Let me see what I wanna do. Uh So What what have I prepared? Um so I I bonus action hex the closest creature. Uh, so this one right here. Yes. All right. And then I. <clears throat> um. Hmm. Uh, actually, you only have an action held. That is a bonus action if you oh, want to yes, use that instead. Never mind. Yeah. So I, I Eldritch Blast. Just normal Eldritch Blast. Boom. 17, does it hit? Yep. Go ahead and roll damage. Yeah. Do I did it roll that twice? Did it roll it twice? I just go with the first one. You know what? I'm confused. It does. <laughs> Eldritch Blast does. Uh, did you take the um, invocation that allows you to add your Christmas modifier to the damage? Uh, that is... I took, yeah, Agonizing Blast and the Fiendish Bigger one. Okay. Yeah, so I have those two, and then I have... Um, Alright, let's spell, um... So, so, at 5th level, it splits into two beams. Is that 5th level Warlock, or just... 5th fifth level, level Warlock, I believe it was. Okay, so I only get the first one, then. Okay. Well... Whenever you get done with your trading, you'll have the full five level warlock stuff. You don't have to worry about that. Yeah. For that that's time why being. Done it, that's why. Well, you have to roll well, attack for each one whenever you have the two blasts. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. I, didn't, I thought it was. You can have multiple targets with one El Eldritch Blast cast whenever you have more than one beam. So. Did you, did you know that the proficiency bonus improves based on overall class level, though? Not class level. Character level? Yeah. I didn't know that. So, okay, separate one for each. Roll for each. <laughs> okay, so I should take that second damage off. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, I hit it for 14 damage. Holy shit! <laughs> You're just now... <laughs> Look, I was looking at my uh, character sheet. I didn't see them. Just now what? Oh, I the... didn't see the people. Demons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're, they're... This one moves in. It goes to. It moves its hand through this man. Let's make sure it hits. Quick. Keyboard, what are you doing to me? Okay, there we go. 
So yes, that does hit. Um, his skin blackens, and his form just drops as he has taken more than half, more than twice his, twice his maximum health as damage, killing him instantly. Holy shit. Uh, those of you that got the very high on the checks, you know that he will arise in one minute or ten rounds as a wraith. Who? That's um, not a So, do we know of a way to stop it? Uh, uh I do. You basically gotta stab it a lot whenever it comes up. That is all that you really know about that. So we don't know of a way to like stop the creature from turning into one. No. Uh, let's Wait. double check here real quick, just to make sure. Yeah, there's no way to stop that. Great. Shit. This is not good. Okay. We're gonna die. Keep the gate right now. Nah, we fine. Oh, we're we fine. fine. We're fine. We're gonna be fine. Even Aussie's dead. Killed on. I'm just gonna fly away. When he gets yeah, within 10 feet, I get to hit him. Yep. Alrighty. Let's oh see. yeah, because you have you... Um... It's actually 5 feet for the Warhammer, because I picked it over the glaive, but whatever. Alright. So, as it comes in, you hit him, you go to hit him, the Warhammer just kind of like... Uh, wisps around it as its form deforms and then... Reforms once it's passed through you, you've effectively missed. Alright. <clears throat> uh, this man is going to move up over here, going to protect the child. He raises his hammer high above his head and goes in for a hit. To kill the child? No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to try to protect it. He manages to get a hit in. Dealing... Three points of damage because I rolled a ward on the die. What? Makato! On that bitch! Takes five more damage. Gotta be kidding me, that's two so, lowest possible damage numbers. Hmm. Are you sure it takes five? So... It's a total of eight, but then he takes five. Like, you took three from the first one, so five more. So, it has to make a strength save. It is immune to the prone condition. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Everything's immune to prone! I can't help that, like, half the creatures in this game are, like, not fully formed creatures. It's just kind it's of like... Continue on. It's fine. Continue on. Okay. Right, you. I hex the one that I was just hitting. The one that I said I would originally hex. Can you hear me better now? Yep. Um, Much better. Good. Uh, it's at my face now, so... Um, just yes. shove it I all on your face. I have to, because... It's an inline mic, and I should have gotten a snow 